Hello, you guys. It is Saturday. This is the day the award is made. <laughs> How y'all doing? Um, so, today is the day. It's over, honey. It's over. So, 30 days. Um, I just wanted to give y'all just a quick update. And I am going to enter the, um, I'm going to enter my weight right about now. Okay, so there'll be a clip right here. So here it is. And here it goes. And so basically, it was successful, but it was a challenge, honey. It was a challenge, it was a challenge, it was a challenge. Um, I'm grateful for it. And which now is gonna lead me into my next challenge of doing 10 days of um, raw vegan, right? Just to see how much better it gets, okay? So real quick, let me give y'all a, I guess a, a cap. A recap because when kids say cap I mean you're lying that's not the cap I'm talking about let me put lift y'all up just a little bit more and let me slide back so I'm not all in your face girl um let me go ahead and get a recap and get by give y'all like some pros and some cons of what happened so I started on actually I started December 31st <clears throat> excuse me leading it to January the first so I talked to you guys, of, I don't know what day I talked to y'all, I told y'all which day I started. Anyway, it's been 30 days. Um, the pros have been, um, actually I'm gonna start with the cons first, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so one of the cons that I have was that you can smell everything, girl. When you are on a smoothie challenge fast or whatever you want to call it, where all you're having is pretty much, you're having smoothies uh, all day. Smoothies, pureed, uh, juices, all that good stuff, fruits or whatever. You can smell everything. I don't eat meat. I want to tell you, I can smell that so if somebody is cooking out, like that smells like chicken and macaroni and cheese with a side of greens, and they probably put some paprika in there, and, and smell like seasoning salt, like you can smell everything. It does not really help unless you're like, God help me, because <laughs> if you are hungry, girl, you gonna smell everything. You gonna smell the peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> down the hallway, okay? There was times where I would say I smell something in my family, been looking at me like what are you talking about they wouldn't smell it until they got closer to what i was smelling and i knew i could smell it so be aware of that you will smell everything so it, it it could be hard after that but i still kept going i still kept going i didn't go in there and cook nothing all right so anyway um the number two thing that got to me was the detox phase even though I'm vegan, oh my gosh, you talking about the sauce and the sugars and the, and the stuff that they put in the processed vegan food, girl, I was missing it. I was missing it and had a few headaches and stuff like that. And then I was on my cycle too. And so, whew, just saying, you will go through a detox phase. You definitely will. Um, three... The hunger pains that came at first, okay? It got a little easier as time went on. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drink the smoothie. And sometimes I would have a smoothie and sit there and kind of like, you know how people say, you're babysitting the liquor? Yeah, I was babysitting my smoothies. And they would sit there and I would drink a little bit and let it sit, watch some TV or get some work done and sit there and okay, I'm gonna go clean up or sit there, I'm gonna take a nap sit there like they would just sit there i would go to the gym and come back and okay well, let me finish this smoothie 
and then I'll have like a protein shake or something to go with it. So after a while, it, it's not so, <gasps> let me hurry and drink. It's like, you can take your time with it, you know? Um, so the smell and everything, the detox phase, the hunger pains, and the four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Um, it's easy to mess around and not get enough nutrients if you drink the same smoothie every day. Um, I would suggest if you wanted to do something like this to mix up, um, make sure you do a little research on what goes good together. Like for me, my favorite smoothie is banana. I think I've talked about this before. Banana mangoes um, with a little bit of apple juice, whether it's freshly juiced or um, something from the store that's organic um, and no sugar added. So that and then spinach. So bananas, mango, spinach, apple juice. That's my favorite smoothie to drink. But I could be missing something that you could get from maybe some beet juice in a smoothie. I could be missing something maybe that you can get from cherries in a smoothie. I could be missing something maybe you can get from carrots in a smoothie. So what I'm saying is try to mix and um, match your smoothies make sure it's gonna taste good because you don't want to have what you don't want to do is be going through a smoothie fast and your smoothies don't taste good to you because then that's all automatically you're gonna be ready to do something else like i'm not i'm not gonna make it through this girl it, it's not gonna work so that's just my advice all right and so try not to make this video too long it's already getting too long so let me wrap this up but the pros, the pros are you lose weight, your palate changes, um, the aches have subsided, which means they are not, I wouldn't be like, woo, it's all gone. What I'm saying is you got to keep going the same way or in, the, in that direction um, because let me give y'all a quick, 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 quick testimony. So today we was in the grocery store and... Um, I asked my husband, it took me a minute to figure it out too. I said, do you notice something? And he was like, what? Notice what? Two lines? What are you talking about? I said, I haven't had to ask you to push that cart. No, one time. We went to three different stores and we take our time in the grocery store. We go out for out. Do we need something down here? Do we need something here? And then we wait in the line, okay? So let's see, we left at about, what, 11? Um, we finished grocery shopping at about two, about two-ish. And uh, I didn't need to hold on to the shopping cart one time. <sighs> Y'all, that was something. And he was like, I didn't realize that you didn't have to ask me for the cart. Usually you need to hold on to the cart. And I didn't need to hold on to the cart. So, good job, testimony. Anyway, so the aches of side, have, you have more energy during your workouts. I did not stop working out. I worked out the whole time, okay? Be careful. Make sure if you, um, depending on how hard you work, you don't want to be lethargic. So you want to make sure you put something in before. You want to make sure you put something in after, okay? So that's just my advice on that. Skin clears up. My skin cleared up a whole lot. A whole lot. I know somebody probably like, girl, your skin wasn't that bad to begin with. You don't, girl, you don't even know. You don't even know. Um, your regularity increases a lot. And smoothies are easy to prepare, so it don't take too much time after day. You can just move on to the next, to the next, to the next. You can get so much done. Okay? So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so, I am also going to be documenting probably not every single day. Not, all right? But I'm going to document um, what happens and how my body feels. Because see, what we're doing here is we're trying to heal this arthritis. All right? So we're not here just trying to, um, okay, we're going to lose weight for a minute and gain it right back. That's not what I'm here for healing purposes, you guys. Now, the, what that weight coming off is a plus and it's what I need. It's really what I need. Um, but also, while losing weight. I am trying to heal what the doctor has diagnosed me with arthritis. You got it? 
All right, so I love you guys. I was hoping this video wasn't too long. Thank you. And um, I will talk to you soon during this raw challenge. I'm gonna keep y'all updated and let y'all know how I'm doing. So I start raw um, officially tonight, going into tomorrow, okay? So we'll talk more about that later. But thank you for watching. And keep praying for me. Things are getting better. All right.